and Menhir, standing stone, or Thostat, or Lith is a large upright standing stone. Menhirs may be found singly as monoliths, or as part of a group of similar stones. Their size can vary considerably, but their shape is generally uneven and squared, often tapering towards the top. Munhirs are widely distributed across Europe, Africa and Asia, but are most numerous in Western Europe. In particular in Ireland, Great Britain and Brittany. There are about 50,000 megaliths in these areas, while there are 1,200 munhirs in northwest France alone. Standing stones are usually difficult to date, but pottery found underneath some in Atlantic Europe connects them with the Beaker people. They were constructed during many different periods across prehistory as part of a larger megalithic culture that flourished in Europe and beyond. Some manhirs have been raised next to buildings that often have an early or current religious significance. One example is the South Zeal Manhir in Devon, which formed the basis for a 12th century monastery built by lay monks. The monastery later became the Oxenham Arms Hotel at South Zeal and the standing stone remains in place in the ancient snug bar at the hotel. Where manhirs appear in groups, often in a circular, oval, henge or horseshoe formation, they are sometimes called megalithic monuments. These are sites of ancient religious ceremonies, sometimes containing burial chambers. The exact function of manhirs has provoked more debate than practically any other issue in European prehistory. Over the centuries, they have variously been thought to have been used by druids for human sacrifice, used as territorial markers, or elements of a complex ideological system, or functioned as early calendars. Until the 19th century, antiquarians did not have substantial knowledge of prehistory, and their only reference points were provided by classical literature. The developments of radiocarbon dating and tree ring calibration have done much to further knowledge in this area. The word manhir was adopted from French by 19th century archaeologists. It is a combination of two words found in the Breton language men and her. In modern Welsh, they are described as manhir, or long stone. In modern Breton, the word pilvin is used. History Practically nothing is known of the social organization or religious beliefs of the people who erected the manhirs. There is not even any trace of these people's language. However we do know that they buried their dead and had the skills to grow cereal, farm and make pottery, stone tools and jewelry. Identifying their uses remains speculation. However, it is likely that many uses involved fertility rites and seasonal cycles. Until recently, Munhirs were associated with the Beaker people, who inhabited Europe during the European Late Neolithic and Early Bronze Age a Euro later 3rd millennium BC. However, recent research into the age of megaliths in Brittany strongly suggests a far older origin, perhaps back to six to seven thousand years ago. Many manhirs are engraved with megalithic art. This often turned them into anthropomorphic stelae, although images of objects such as stone axes, ploughs, shepherd crooks and yokes were common. With the exception of the stone axe, none of these motifs are definite, and the name used to describe them is largely for convenience. Some manhirs were broken up and incorporated into later passage graves, where they had new megalithic art carved with little regard for the previous pictures. It is not known if this reuse was deliberate or if the passage grave builders just saw manhirs as a convenient source of stone. During the Middle Ages, standing stones were believed to have been built by the giants who inhabited the earth before the biblical flood. Many of the megaliths were destroyed or defaced by early Christians, but it is estimated that some 50,000 megaliths once stood in northern Europe, where almost 10,000 now remain. Geographical distribution, Scandinavia In Scandinavia, munhirs are called Bautastina or Bautasna and continued to be erected during the pre-Roman Iron Age and later, usually over the ashes of the dead. They were raised both as solitary stones and in formations, such as the stone ships and few stone circles. Sometimes, they were raised only as commemoration to great people, a tradition which was continued as the runestones. For stating, with its seat at Tingagen in Froster municipality in the county of Nordtrandelag, was the site of an early Norwegian court. The site is represented by the Frostating at Bautarsen. The tradition was strongest in Bonham, 
Gotland and Gar paragraph to land and appears to have followed the Goths, during the first century, to the southern shore of the Baltic Sea, where they are a characteristic of the Weilbach culture. Sweden In Sweden by the 13th century Munhirs were erected as markers for the graves of warriors. The following lines are taken from the introduction of the Heimskringla by Snorri Sturluson. As to funeral rites, the earliest age is called the Age of Burning. Because all the dead were consumed by fire, and over their ashes were raised standing stones. For men of consequence a man should be raised to their memory, and for all other warriors who had been distinguished for manhood a standing stone. Which custom remained long after Odin's time. In the same work, Snorri wrote that the Swedes burnt their dead king Van Laid and raised a stone over his ashes by the river Skite. The Swedes took his body and burned it at a river called Skittal, where a standing stone was raised over him. The tradition is also mentioned in Harvamael. Czech Republic A number of Manhirs exist in the Czech Republic. These standing stones include the Manhir Kamena 1 half Pasta 1 half Angstrom unregistered trademark near Klabuki. France Brittany stands out in the distribution of menhirs by virtue of both the density of monuments and the diversity of types. The largest surviving menhir in the world is located in Loch Marieke, Brittany, and it is known as the Grand Menhir Breezer Copyright. Once nearly high, today, it lies fractured into four pieces, but it would have weighed near 330 tons when intact. It is placed third after the Thunder Stone in St. Petersburg and the Western Stone in the Western Wall is the heaviest object moved by humans without powered machinery. Alignments of manhirs are common, the most famous being the Kunak Stones in Brittany, where more than 3,000 individual manhirs are arranged in four groups and arrayed in rows stretching across four kilometers. Each set is organized with the tallest stones at the western end and shorter ones at the eastern end. Some end with a semicircular cromlech, but many have since fallen or been destroyed. The second largest concentration of manhirs in France is at the Cham des Bondons, located on high open limestone plain in the granitic car copyright Vennes. Today, the site is protected by the Parc National des Car copyright Vennes. From the time pastoralism was established, the site was kept open by controlled burning and grazing. On the island of Corsica, Munhirs are found in Filatosa, a megalithic site in southern Corsica. The period of occupation spans from the end of the Neolithic era and the beginning of the Bronze Age, until around the Roman times in Corsica. Portugal In Portugal, there are also found several ancient Munhirs. Among these megalithic structures is the Almendas Munhir in Apermelvora. Armenia, numerous Munhirs dot the lands across Armenia, and are called the stones are cigar-shaped and are typically 10 to 20 feet tall. They are often found in the mountains near the sources of rivers or lakes. A large number of them have been carved in the shape of a fish. The earliest known Vishapka is thought to be from between the 18th to 16th centuries BC. An inscription in ancient Eurasian cuneiform written upon a vishap at the Temple of Ghani shows that they were created prior to the Eurasian kingdom. Horn of Africa Ancient standing stones are found throughout the Horn of Africa. Several of these old structures exist in Kohito, Eritrea, and date to a period before the founding of the Kingdom of Exum. The Akshumites themselves also erected a number of large stelae, which served a religious purpose in pre-Christian times. One of these granite columns is the largest such structure in the world, standing at 90 feet. In northeastern Somalia, on the coastal plain 20 km to Alula's east are found ruins of an ancient monument in a platform style. The structure is formed by a rectangular dry stone wall that is low in height. The space in between is filled with rubble and manually covered with small stones. Relatively large standing stones are also positioned on the edifice's corners. Near the platform are graves, which are outlined in stones. 24 am by 17 am in dimension. The structure is the largest of a string of ancient platform and enclosed platform monuments exclusive to far northeastern Somalia. Additionally, around 200 stone monuments are found in the northeastern Boat Ayala site, most of which consist of cairns. There are a number of rows of standing stones on the eastern side of the structures, which are similar to those at Salim, a great cairn held situated close to Hayes. 
Besides Cairns, the Boat Ayala area also features a few other dry stone monuments. These include disc monuments with circular, ground level features, as well as low, rectangular platform monuments. Burial sites near Bure in the northwestern part of the country likewise feature a number of old stelae. Additionally, between Djibouti City and Loida in Djibouti are a number of anthropomorphic and phallic stelae. The structures are associated with graves of rectangular shape flanked by vertical slabs, as also found in central Ethiopia. The Djibouti Loida stelae are of uncertain age, and some of them are adorned with a T shaped symbol. South America Munhirs were erected by the A people of Colombia in their ancestral territory. They believe that the Munhirs are the ancients of the A clans who were turned into the stone peers of the world. Munhirs can be found in Quita and Kiskas, Boyaca. There are 114 Munhirs in the provincial park Los Minhais in Argentina. The stones are approximately four to high and wide. They were erected by the Tafa people, an indigenous culture of Tucuma N province and were used in fertility rites. India At Mudumala, an archaeological site was dotted with about 80 big menhirs some as tall as 14 feet and several hundreds of smaller menhirs scattered all over the agricultural fields. Dr. Rao and his team visited the site on the days of summer and winter solstice and equinox and found that particular rows of stones were aligned to the rising and setting sun on these days. This suggests the megalithic community here was aware of the solar trajectories, he said. Iran, Munhirs in Iran are found in different villages and areas of East Azerbaijan province, and Amlash and Dilaman areas in Jilan and also a double Munhir which is situated in Korg Island in the Persian Gulf. Munhirs are called Okudua Euro Oeo Omo plus or minus O Terahertzo in Persian, and there are different studies published in Iranian periodicals about the details of the Iranian menhirs, especially in the periodical Barasa Hayita Raiki. Serbia, the graves of the Latins, and the Jadoks near the village of Bolwan, north of Aleksinak in Serbia were marked by large boulders. See also, Karlin Stone, Kanak Stones, Kov, Kromlej, Deer Stone, Dolman, Fulact Fired, Gauk Stone, Henge, Ley Lines, List of megalithic sites, Moa, Nature Worship, Obelisk, Obelix, Orthostat, Statue here, Stone Circle, Stone Row, Stone Ship, Notes. References, La Rouse, CT 1992. The Art of Gavn is presented in its Armorican context and in comparison with Ireland. In Journal of the Royal Society of Antiquaries of Ireland Vol. 122, Pages 79 a Euro 108. Moen, Jean Pierre. 2000. Standing Stones. Stonehenge, Kanak and the World of Megaliths. London, Thames and Hudson. ISBN 0 500 30090 9. External links Dolmans, Munhirs and Stone Circles in the South of France, a Euro Munhirs of the Cham des Bondons. New theory a Euro henges a Euro engineering in prehistory, rows of manhirs in Russia, South Ural, list of manhirs and their related stories in Czech Republic, Ancient Europe plus a Marks Google Earth file downloads. Skala manhirs in Ukraine.